Hi everybody, it's Project Kimberly here and yeah, it's been a while since my last vlog and I know I need to apologize and everything but then if you hear my explanation first before I apologize, it's kind of worth it because you know there's school and then there's dissertation and then there's also being Mrs. Mushi. It's it's a lot of work, you know, that that I've just been coming across but it's good to say I am back and a few days ago I asked you a question which is quite a difficult question based on the responses that I was getting and I decided to bring in a good friend of mine to discuss this topic today so ladies and gentlemen it's me and my best friend Kim <laughs> Thank you, Pancho. <laughs> Thank you. I know, like, it's, 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 you know, it's like that, you know, it's a shocker, but our special guest today is none other than Mr. Mushi. And I'm happy you came. Thank you, babe. Thank you. You know, you know, I don't usually agree to these things. Yeah, but anything. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a reward. So she officially changed her government name to Mushapaidze. Oh, boy. So, yeah, just. <laughs> Just as a reward, I had to agree to come to this show. So, thank you, guys. We st I still need the money, so... Bring the money. Is there any money better than this? <laughs> okay, fine. Point taken. So, I did ask you a question, and the question was, is social media telling us the truth about love? And I really got touching, ex I mean, touching responses, and I'm going to read those responses... And then we're going to talk about it based on our collective experience in this relationship and outside of the relationship. So, uh, yeah, let me just get into the responses. Would you like to read some? Yeah, sure. Okay. So just... I like to pick the funny ones. Uh -huh. Okay. I hope I find one mm -hmm. early. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. It seems like I can't find a funny, no funny one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all serious. Mm -hmm. So, there is a comment here. Am I reading the usernames as well? No. Yes. No? Okay. So, someone says, social media doesn't clearly show us that love is beautiful and real. Ooh. Mm. Okay. So, I think, well, the question was, does... The content we see on social media give us a true reflection of love. Reflection of love, yeah. Yeah, so I think this person is saying, actually, it understates, it understates. how love is beautiful and real. I, I like that response. Yeah? Yeah, it's one of the few I like from the ones that I saw. Because, to be honest, <laughs> a lot of these responses made, made me personally feel like, uh, should I even be putting my relationship out there? Like, it's, it's you know, someone said it's a mixed bag, and I agree. That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> it's a mixed bag. Mm. Another one? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, for me, I agree with this statement. Mm -hmm. the, the first comment, the, the first answer that we got from our question. I, I, I do believe that uh, while social media puts out things as all rosy and gold, uh, it, I don't think it really gives out the true feeling and the happiness that uh, uh, love comes with, you know. So sometimes people think people are actually exaggerating, but I I feel like people actually don't know the true story behind um, what love is all about. And it's beautiful. It's more beautiful than the pictures and the videos can get to, to tell us. So I'll go to the next uh, answer or response to the question that uh, Panache asked. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, this is someone who's saying, I guess so, but when you are not in love, you feel pressured. I admire your relationship with Kim. Be able, oh, why did I choose this comment? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this, 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 this is another comment. Mm -hmm. I suppose it doesn't really give us much to talk about. To talk about yeah. Um, but but she did, or he did, raise a good point when. She said it gives us pressure. And I think we should go back to this point after we, you know, when we're just talking, mm -hmm. you know, in general. It gives us pressure or gives people who are not in a relationship pressure. 
to find a relationship. And okay. I think we should address the element of pressure and in that statement, mm-hmm. like where it comes from and whether it's necessary to have pressure. Oh, okay. Not, know, point yeah. to note. Yeah. Point to note. I get it. For, for me, the pressure is not really just based on love and post to do with love. Mm-hmm. Social media just gives people pressure. Okay. It doesn't matter. We're talking about love. We're talking about money. We're talking about education or our levels of success. Mm-hmm. It just gives people pressure. Okay. So whenever you don't have something mm-hmm. and you see some people posting, you decided to go and sleep. Mm-hmm. And then tomorrow morning you're seeing all these champagne bottles and yeah. things like that. That's pressure, <laughs> yeah. you know. So I, I think it's rather unfair to single love out. Okay. When you're talking about the pressure that social media gives us, social media is all about pressure, and that's what people are using it for nowadays. Okay. Yeah. Let's circle back onto that one. Please read the next one. Okay. Uh, so this person says, mm-hmm. no, mm. a lot of people are in love with the public and not their partners. Ooh. Living for the public image. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one. That's a rather tough one. <laughs> uh, I think let's get back to that one. I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, pers- personally, I don't feel attacked. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's true in some instances. Yes, I do have a friend who, who did tell me that uh, she was getting abused by mm-hmm. her husband. And unfortunately, I can't name drop. Close. Um, but she had recently, they had recently got married. Like mm. it had only been a few months uh, since the cows went home. Mm. Mm. So she was telling me, and she was like, "You know what? I really don't know what to think. I'm kind of afraid that if I announce that this marriage is over, mm. uh, people are going to people judge me because yeah. I, I'm, I, I've just been in this for a few weeks or a few months." Um, so I think she was staying, staying in it for the wrong reasons. Mm-hmm. It was definitely for the people okay. and less about the partner that they were with. Mm. Uh, so I, I, I do agree you with agree this, with, with, this with, with this statement, uh, especially when they said a lot of people, this person didn't really say, say everyone. everyone. Okay. It was, it's, it's a lot of people. Fair so yeah, uh, for the next response, Panache, <laughs> okay. take us through this. All right, um, let me find the ones that you didn't. Like, you left the hard ones for me. <laughs> I always like the easy walk. But it's fine. Um, it's all a fantasy, this life. No balance. This person just outrightly thinks it's a fantasy. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you can't blame them for their thoughts. At the end of the day, what's important is uh, what's happening in that particular. Yeah, and 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 how how do you how do you feel? You know, social media has become so toxic sometimes. Mm-hmm. So it's nice to have your own personal filters. Uh, and when you see Kin and Panache posting every day as if everything is rosy, it's nice to have that filter and just tell yourself, you know what, it's it's just a fantasy. It's just well, for today. Today they are not, good. <laughs> it's as real as it gets. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm, I want to save your thoughts for, you know, a little bit later, but... Oh, we're coming back to the... Yeah, we, we have okay, to come back fine, and, and, and you know, get into this in full. So let me just read these comments mm. and then we can, you know, get, get into them in full. Okay. Okay, so uh, I've seen a lot of yeses and nos. Like, <laughs> some people just said yes, some people just said no. So... For some people, yes, social media is teaching us the truth about love. For other people, no, it's not. And then there are people who have elaborated, like what you know we've been reading through, and we've given you a preview of the mixed bag that we have. And I'm going to go on to uh, someone who says, no, everything on social media is biased. Uh, someone else says, the only relationship I believe on social media is yours and Kim. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone else says, no, it isn't the capital letter. <laughs> it's telling us that um, finding love is all roses, but it's not. It's not easy to find true love. Mm, okay. Yeah. And then someone says, I'm uh, definitely not. I'm scared of marriage because of how it is overrated. 
But well, anyone to marry me? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. okay okay no social media things everyone um social media thinks every love story will end in tears they all believe how number would so this one is saying hey, social media it will end in tears <laughs> and it so yeah maybe it'll end in tears maybe it won't but i don't think it applies to us but yeah <laughs> That's the general consensus. And I do want us to talk about it will end in tears. So that's Nemwe Pagme Patro, it's true. Pagme Patro, no. Yeah. Someone else says, not really. Love is complicated. It requires a lot of patience and humility. Someone else says, it only focuses on the negative side. Positive is wrong. And I think this is my favorite comment of okay. all the comments. But like I said, We'll get back to that. Yeah. Now I'm itching to comment. Now you're itching to comment. Yeah, okay, but just it's fine. Let's give me, let's give me two minutes. Hold on to that. Yeah. And no, it's not. It's giving people wrong standards. But there are a few couples here and there on social media that are true or genuine. And then someone says, <laughs> no and never. Read that aloud. <laughs> no and never. Read that aloud. And someone says, not really. It's uh, all bad and it's not all good. Okay. I think yours is telling us the truth, ambassadors of love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, and then someone says, um, definitely not. So, of course, it's the yes is the no. Someone says it's deceiving us. Um, you no, know, it's not. People pretend to be in love. Next thing, I don't know. I don't so looks like I am getting a lot of no's from this. And I am going to give you an opportunity to comment on this before I probe your mind with particular questions. So now you can go right ahead. Okay, so now my mind is saturated. I'm just mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Who was saying what? But mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just try to recall what a few of the comments were saying. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember to read it aloud. Mm, mm. It's, a, it's, a, it's a big no or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, well, like I was saying earlier, mm -hmm. social media nowadays, it's more about pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, people pay, uh, posting a lot of things that are not really going on in their lives, but they are making it seem as if that's what their everyday life is made of. Um, and it, love is not exempted. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's also a part of the pressure that it's social true. media is giving us. But uh, I would like to, I don't think that uh, it's every love relationship that uh, that's false or that's on social media. That's, that's a lie. Mm. Um, I thank God for the love that we have. Yeah. And pray that it continues to be like that. We mm -hmm. don't know what tomorrow holds, but we do pray for the best. Amen. Um, so there, there are cases where most of these things that people get to see is real. Mm -hmm. uh, and like I said, sometimes I don't think we even post a, a tenth of what goes on in, in, in our, our marriage. Life, you yeah, know? In our marriage. There are actually more happier times than the times that we post yeah. for people online. And this is not pressure, by the way. But I also do agree to the fact that there are also other people who have very mis miserable days, miserable relationships, and they still come out and show us just the days that they exchange roses and kisses. Uh, so it's a it's fifty fifty. Yeah, I think there's it's there's that side, there's that side, and uh, you you can never know, I suppose, until you get to experience your own version of love. Okay, okay. Mm. I like what you're saying. And then I want to come back to a comment which I said is my favorite comment mm. where someone said um, it's teaching us a lot of negativity. Like the it seems as though the status quo at the moment when it comes to love is a negative one. Mm -hmm. And there's really quite a small amount of positive, mm. you know, positive things about love. And um, it's it's nice to see that there are a lot of pages about marriage, millennial married, yeah. millen, millen, millennial and married, I think. And then there's um, 
uh, Black Love, there's Zim Weddings, there's all of these pages that seem to be promoting love or mm -hmm. which are actually promoting love, which is a good thing. But then you've got other places where a lot of the content that is being put up there or a lot of the content that people see is basically negative. I mean, you can, I can get on my tablet right now mm -hmm. and then um the first thing i see is uh, well done uh let's just say kim and rose and it or wherever tatenda and tapio and it well done and they've gotten married and then yeah but then in the same like two posts down the line cape town this woman cheated on her husband and then yeah they're 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 fighting and all of that right and then i go down again and then there's another thing about how there's enjoy it use it and you know and it's, it's it feels like there's more negative than positive and which is something that that makes me sad because it then kind of creates the 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 idea to be yeguti akuna akuna love out there. Yeah, I suppose the world is just so toxic nowadays, um, and uh, most of these things it's not really about uh, uh, love only. Like I was saying, social media it's it's just a lot of things, and uh, love is also a space that we occupy as human beings. Mm -hmm. um, but people are now more attracted to the negative things than the positive things. Yeah. Not to say positive things are not happening. They are happening way more than the negative things. But they don't attract uh, as much attention as the bad things. Mm -hmm. And so it seems as if it's all tragedy. All tragedy when you talk about love. Oh, people are waiting for a tragedy. Yeah, for a tragedy. So when people say congratulations, Kin and Panashi, of course, a lot of them can say that. But it's 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 not breaking news as much as God forbid the day there's an announcement that Kin and Panashi got divorced. There will be more happiness. There will be more happiness across board than the happiness that's there when people come to say, "Oh, congratulations, we are happy for you." Mm -hmm. So people, are, I would say globally, we're just more toxic and sad than maybe our parents were some time back. It's also because of this pressure. Mm -hmm. So in one wishes that they got some a certain type of life or lifestyle and they fail to get it uh, probably just for the meantime because it's not like if you don't get love now you can't get love forever mm -hmm. but you tend to be so bitter about everyone else who's in love who's in and love. you're waiting for the next tragic story regarding love yeah i think we're about to touch on a point but before you get on to that point mm. i just need to give like two minutes i want to well like 30 seconds to show today's sponsor because we've got this whole nice little place mm. and i just want to acknowledge the sponsors so here are my sponsors oh so yes we would like to thank our sponsor classic living for today and um ah uh, yeah back to our story um so if i got you correctly you are saying that this generation is only sadder than our parents because now we have like an amplified platform to expose everything uh one day where you would read a negative story mm. from the newspaper you probably see it two three other times and then it's gone you probably forget about it but now there's a platform that constantly reminds you, yeah, so it amplifies everything. Mm -hmm. So if you celebrate love, platforms are now there to, to celebrate. help you celebrate more. If you are bitter about people in love, now there's a platform to Just help you get even more and more bitter. And to tell them it will end in tears. Yeah, you know, so even, if, even back in the days, Amjolo was there, it's not, it's not a new thing. <laughs> You, you know, just have a name for yeah, it. and I know a lot of Christians don't want to hear about this. Even you go back to the Bible, mm. <laughs> but now we have we have a media platform mm. that allows us to, or that gives us the privilege to see most of these things as they happen mm. or soon after they happened. Mm -hmm. So it's like, 
Kwani ma sports stereke and things like that and it's now different from how it was with Dara but it's probably the same thing so we can't say kana pane vanhu varubuda vachiti nyepera kuti ndaka ndakatenga shampopo vasiri vakaitenga but just because they were at the table that someone vachiti pa pressure it doesn't mean that there are no people who are really buying the champagne sometimes not even in the clubs but even at home or gara off cameras mm-hmm. and it's happening so we can't say because it's in evidence of so and so celebrity or so, or so and so personality mm-hmm. I, got I, I was popping champagne all weekend so no one else, no one else is popping, is popping champagne, champagne genuinely out there same applies to love okay. the fact that we get some fake stories uh, fake smiles on the pictures mm-hmm. doesn't necessarily translate to love being non-existent at all yeah chero ma points no ndiri murewa okay okay i i get it okay besides social media fueling the the jolo thing hmm. which makes it worse and which makes other people believe what is akuna rudo out there yeah. what else could you point to in people that could possibly be the reason why certain relationships or love isn't okay yeah. well, well this is my opinion i took i took such a long time to formulate <laughs> that question i really wanted to make sure i'm not hurting anyone's feelings but yes I yeah th- this, this is my own personal opinion mm-hmm. uh, it's by no means facts mm-hmm. but what i think is um you know when we try to create the perfect perfect stereotype of you know maza no kwa ni language kuti uyu muni type yangu uyu muni type yangu okay uh, that means we all have stereotyped our our partners your opinion right uh-huh. and we say kuti muna afite bio yangu anofana kuti ka this 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 and that box uh-huh. and i don't believe love operates that way okay you know um sometimes what you think is the perfect person or perfect partner or who you think is the perfect person uh is not what you then get did or was i the perfect person on the day of a video <laughs> <laughs> you have always been the perfect person baby <laughs> but now mm. when when you have your your own uh standards okay, but, uh, okay. The person is supposed to marry me alpha nine million dollars in the bank account alpha nine to yo i'm sure ga unanga ato kura kuti ndira mburumari to ona ka dwafu ka wakazolora man but i'm saying with love you just have to open your heart <laughs> to open your heart unfortunately yeah. uh, that exposes you and you might have your heart uh, broken, broken a couple of, a couple of times yeah. but that's the only way you can get to meet the perfect person so it doesn't mean muna nokunzwisisa and loves you with all their heart necessarily has to be tall okay or necessarily has to be dark or light mm-hmm. whatever the case might be mm-hmm. but when you open your heart and allow yourself to learn people and see people as they come mm-hmm. sometimes tine my true love companions hedo akauya akaenda and we failed to notice because yeah. there's just one box probably just one box they That's failed to tick take. you know and it may really gonna box their attraction in terms of how uh, in terms of their physical appearance and things like that mm-hmm. so uh, i would like to urge that person who was saying uh, is they still hope for me mm-hmm. you know uh, we are billions of people in this world mm-hmm. there is definitely a lot of chances to get hooked onto someone and they are the perfect match for you just don't put so many standards and barriers for the people you expect you... to date so is is it also about the people you meet like you should give people a chance when you meet them yeah definitely yeah. give people a chance of course don't hope into everyone's bed but give everyone a chance get to know people as they come <laughs> i was i was going to give i am personal <laughs> i was going to say uh, i i eventually gave you a chance mm. you know you had ghosted me Yeah, I'm not going to talk much about that. You had ghosted me. I was scared for a while. For a while, mm. but then eventually okay, what were you scared of? 
you know muchikura mungo ri boys unoga dzaka type kenyu kuti ah ndo ndo we kuma sports up ah ndo we mumba when things like that and uh, when when someone becomes so beautiful like my wife you know you based on those discussions and and stories and topics not, ah, but okay is this the right choice to make you know <laughs> there is bound to be a lot of competition and things like that where mm-hmm. you want this stress i want a stress free stress free life mm-hmm. yeah so i was like ah oh, no this girl is really nice and, uh, i've spoken to a very nice personality but i don't think i'm i'm ready for the the competition and the uh, disasters she might come with <laughs> that's the reason for the ghosting you know but i didn't realize i might i might just be competitions and disasters yeah me mm. competitions Imagine. and disasters yeah but, but i like that you practiced what you what you preach mm. which is to open up your heart yeah 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 yeah, yeah. therefore now i realized i realized i was sh- shortchanging myself Aww. i don't regret that decision <laughs> Shall I cry? Shall I blush? What shall I do? Okay. 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 I I don't want to put to keep you in a corner. Like I mm. feel like the whole episode I've been Cuz it's nice to have, you know, a fresh opinion. But then do you have a question you want to ask me? Um another bombarding corner being I put you in another corner. I I think so. <laughs> I think so but uh you know we we have, we have been the best of friends for a long time yeah and uh, that I don't know if I should, I should say fortunately or unfortunately but for this episode unfortunately oh <laughs> uh has resulted in me figuring out most of the things I wanted to figure out from you okay so uh, I don't think I have a lot of questions that I really wish Panasha would answer on this episode Well, so if we went best friends it means yeah, yeah yeah i i would have a lot of questions to ask uh, yeah it's okay it's fine <laughs> all right uh, yeah. look it's 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 fine i i think i will catch you later i will make a side you know to to address this but uh, um i don't know do you feel like we've done justice to this topic the the topic of love Because I believe, you know, even my channel is called Flavored Love, Parashi Kim, mm. you know. I feel like we chose, we made a choice, you know, which was to be with each other and to love each other for for a very, for the rest of our lives. Mm. You know, I was going to say for a very long time, but no, for technically. You know? For the rest of your life. Mm. Evidence. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm asking. Um my question is what okay. I, I this is a typical question. Yeah, what would you say to a young boy who is seeing the world through the eyes of joy, but somewhere deep down in his heart he wants to marry and is scared because of this. No, I'd say that take your chances <laughs> like i said love is beautiful and and i i don't want to tag what i say as advice yeah i i always want people to know that it's my opinion mm-hmm. uh so my opinion is that open your heart it will be broken a couple of times it has yeah. to you have to open a couple of wrong doors for you to know when you open the right one mm-hmm. um and uh live your life be happy experiment uh the right person and the right time will come mm-hmm. and you will know you will feel it mm-hmm. when it does come social media yes in a pressure here to tip our daily mm-hmm. the, which doesn't necessarily mean that if we are aware of the pressure we say nothing is existent outside of the outside pressure. of the pressure so the pressure is coming as a result of the world being real and there are some people who are able to fake circumstances and situations out of the real world so the fact that the real world exists mm-hmm. we definitely can all enjoy what happens in the real world outside of the cameras and outside of social media mm-hmm. so open your heart experiment and allow yourself to be 
Yeah. yeah. King Solomon. King Solomon in the building. Mm. See, shiny but not empty. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um. By the way, guys, these videos, or particularly this video, where my best friend is in the video, this is basically based on our life experiences. We are not. We are not doctors. We are not pros in this. Yeah. So um disclaimer disclaimer if you'd like to you know take our advice it, please feel free to do so if it, if it applies to your life in any way possible and we're very happy to help but if it doesn't it's still fine um we love creating content i love creating content and i'm just happy i could have him you know in the video but um yeah today's episode is a very different video because i did this video for school um, it's part of my project and I'm part of a team and behind the scenes we've got Lori, we've got Flavian and we've got Denise and these are the people who are in the group that we were put in you know to do this project so it was quite easy you know to just put this together and uh, unfortunately it wasn't going to be this nice without the people behind the camera so wherever you're watching us from Today's episode had a whole team behind it. Well, Big round of applause. And I believe Denise, someone there, has a question. So, yeah. Okay, so my question is, we were talking about finding love. Mm -hmm. Is it about finding the right person or it's about me being the right person? Because at times, maybe I've got daddy issues. Sometimes yeah. I've got bitterness from my previous relationships. And I'm looking for someone who's complete. And mm. I'm not complete. Myself, I'm not complete. How do I deal with that? Because I'm just a broken person. So I'm looking for a non-broken person. And I'm trying to make that person feel those broken pieces that I have. Okay. So how do I have to, to navigate myself through that? Do I have to deal with myself first? Heal first and then get someone else? Okay. Would you have to that? <laughs> uh... I, well, I like the fact that uh, Denise used the example that you are a broken vessel. Did I hear you right? Did you say you're looking for an unbroken? Yeah, I, I'm saying, Kuti, let's say I'm a broken vessel. Yeah. And then I feel like I need to find someone else to fix me okay. to be in a relationship. There are so many broken people that are out there. Yeah. They're not looking for love. By the end of the day, they're actually looking for that person who can actually fill in the broken pieces inside them. Yeah. Okay. So, so why I was saying that's that you use the perfect example. You can't fix a broken vessel by using a non-broken vessel. Okay. For you to find the correct pieces that complete your broken vessel, you need another broken vessel. Don't want to get a piece and no fit a piece and no fit a piece and no fit a so when you go and get another complete vessel, there's nothing you can take away from it to complete your brokenness. So you can never get the, the, the perfect person um, or the perfect stereotype, like I was saying, in your mind. You complement each other. Your weaknesses become someone else's area of strength. Or rather, your strength go and uh, support someone else's area of weakness. And, and vice versa. So you are diff for it to work, you can never find someone or a vessel that's not broken. It also has to be broken and you complement everything. Yo, glorious. <laughs> something to add. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I actually concur with you, Tien. Mm. All you need is to open up. Don't yeah. get your relationship being someone who's closed up. You need to open up and say, this is me. And yes. you say, this is me. And then you help each other to heal. Because you will never find healing on yourself. Yeah. You need other people that support you all the way. Yes. Okay. So, Shasha, I'm going to my bedroom is nice, nice. Oh. But when I come from work and I'm just so tired, Jesus. no more kind of boots everywhere. My first day is I pop out, hey, sure, get up, I'll touch it, always a boots of a sure. But it was a pop out almost the rest of the year, you know. No, this has got nothing to do with brokenness. This is well, just well, you venting the, about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect everywhere. example. <laughs> but I don't know if she learns to live with it. But now yeah. we talk about it less, yeah. you know. 
Kudara, when she used to talk about it so much, we would be fighting almost every day. Same applies to her. Tanga only to my habits, to my behaviors, to all the But this woman, I was from Sase, you know. But you learn to accept that. Because I'm a vessel that come together. And you have less and less of problems and arguments. We, I don't even remember the last time we really had an argument. No, but when you started staying together, we had so much we of had, them. Yeah, we had so much. So yeah. much of them. So, you, Denise, you also need a broken vessel. Me too, broken vessel. But then, I, I only, the only thing that I want to add to that is um, each vessel should kind of realize that the other vessel is not responsible for your brokenness. Yes. So this of person, course. everyone is broken, but then each person or the person that you are committing to is not the reason why you are broken, but is the reason why you can mend and become whole. You know, you can become two whole vessels by mending each other. Yeah. Anyway, I think today's episode has been quite long, guys. Um, I would love to know what you think about this topic. The comment section is definitely for you. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, yeah, go ahead and subscribe because I think I'm ready to put more content out there and I think I have good content this time. So, Mr. Kinsa, thank you so much for that camera. I'll thank you outside the camera also, but mm, for the camera. For that. Anyway, and, 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 and I think I now have good content from now on. It's fine. Goodbye, guys. It's fine.